Social Security Administration Department. You're speaking with Agent Paul. How can I help you today? I got a voicemail to call his number. Uh, my Social Security is flagged for illegal activities and criminal activities and legal action. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Uh, when did you receive the phone call, sir? Uh, it was 11.30. Mm -hmm. Did you receive any case ID number with that phone call? No, no. Okay, no problem. I will surely help you, sir. Okay. Can I have your first and last name, please? First name's Jack. J-A-C-K. J-A-C-K. Yeah. What is the last name? What is the last name, Mr. Jack? Huff. H-U-F-F. H-U-F-F. Jack Huff. Yep. Hold on for a moment. I can pull up the details, okay? Okay. Thank you for holding line, Mr. Huff. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Mr. Huff, the reason you were contacted today was to inform you regarding some legal enforcement actions filed on your social security because we have found many suspicious activities done on your social. Did you have any knowledge about this? Uh, no, that's why I called you. Okay, no problem, Mr. Huff. I will surely help you. Uh, just to confirm, Mr. Huff, did you receive any calls from a local police department? No, I don't know why they call me. Okay. Do you have a grab a piece of paper and pen so you can note down my full name and my federal beach ID number, Mr. Huff? Do you have a grab a piece of paper and pen? Yeah, I got one right here. Go ahead. Just to inform you, Mr. Huff, this line is recorded and federal monitored by Department of Social Security. And right now you're speaking with Agent Paul Everson. My first name is Paul and my last name is Everson. Everson? Everson. E V E R S O N. E V E R S O N. Oh, okay. Okay, guys. Mr. Huff, ask. Okay. Yes, and okay. my. Fed and my federal. Uh, yeah, okay. Listen to me. Okay. My fed my federal okay. beach ID number is S S A. S S A. Okay. Uh huh. Eight one six zero four nine. Eight one six zero four nine. Okay. Yes, and uh, Mister Huff, as per the law, you have the right to know everything about this ongoing investigation. But before I go ahead and give out this information, I need to verify that I am speaking with the right person or not, Mister Jacob or not. So can you please verify me your date of birth and social security number? 3-16-1950. Excuse me? My birth date. You wanted my birth date, you said? Yes. 3-16-1950. 3-16-1960, that is correct? 1950. 5-0-50. Oh, 1950. Oh, what kind of problem? Can you please verify me your social security number? 0-8-6-1-0-1-4-6-3. Zero eight six one zero. Can you repeat? Zero eight six one Let's zero one four six three. Hold on for a moment. I can verify your detail, okay? Okay. Thank you for verifying your personal identification, Mr. Huff. Can you hear me? Yes. Mr. Huff, and uh -huh. which year has been issued your social security card? Do you oh, remember? Oh, what? I didn't hear what you said, but. I'm asking you which year has been issued your social security card. Do you remember? 1950. My, my, my parents got it for me when I was born. Mm hmm Okay, perfect. And uh, I can believe that uh, New York, New York, that is correct, New York City. New York State. New York State, not New York City. All right, New York. Yeah. Hold on, farm. <clears throat> now you can note down your case ID number, Mr. Huff. Okay. It's DMC DMC seven zero two one. Okay. What's that mean? Do you get it? Yeah. What's it mean? DMC seven zero two this, one. What's it mean? What is this it? Is, I, I wrote it down, case, but I don't this, know why. This is your case ID number, Mr. Huff. Case for what? I don't, I don't even know what you're talking about here. Somebody using your personal identification in the state of Texas. That is the reason. We as the Social Security Administration Department is contacted you, Mr. Huff. Do you have any suspect who is using your personal identification? No, I, no. Uh, uh, how would anybody get it? I don't know. No, I don't know. Have you ever lost your personal document like debit card, credit card, driving license, any document? No. 
Mr. Ha, right now we have received two official order to suspend your social as the present moment because somebody using your personal identification in the state of Texas and we have received two official order to suspend your social because your social has been well, compromised. How can you suspend mine? I, I'm kind of lost here, Paul. Mr. Ha, listen to me. Now I'm going to read out your legal affidavit of your case file. Oh, yeah, but you just told me you're going to suspend my Social Security, and I'm wondering why and how does this happen? Mr. Hall, because your social has been involved to the criminal activity. Somebody using your personal oh, identification. Oh, okay. Do you have any... What's that got to do with me? I do don't understand. I can explain you all the details. Do you have any suspect? No, no, nobody would get my stuff. Um, have you ever been to the state of Texas before in your entire life? Uh, yeah, years ago I used to work down there, yeah. yeah Mr. Hub, now listen to me. Yeah. Um, we used to process Mr. chickens Hub, now. For, for shipment. Mm -hmm. And I worked the end listen of the line. To me now. If the chicken was dead, I had to choke the chicken. You get it out the mm -hmm. door. Mr. Hub. Mr. Hall, now listen to me very carefully. Okay. I'm going to read out your legal affidavit of your case file, okay? Okay, go ahead. While I'm, do go ahead. While I'm go doing ahead. Read so it. kindly. Read it, read it, go ahead. Yes. Mr. Jacob, your affidavit states that your social has been found suspicious for criminal activities in the state of Texas. And we are taking this issue to the FBI headquarters as we are having strong evidence that are enough to prove you guilty inside the courthouse. Prove me guilty of when what? You somebody using your personal identification. How are you going to prove me guilty of that? How are you going to prove me guilty of that if I didn't do it? I don't understand. Mr. Hub, I can explain all the details. Listen to me very carefully. This is well, your you're case. Saying I this did is your I did, you're saying I did something I didn't do, and it upsets me. I've been a law-abiding citizen my whole life. You don't understand? I don't understand how I can be proven guilty of something I didn't do. I can explain you, and we are know you are the innocent person in this case file. Somebody using your personal identification. And we don't know who using your personal identification. That is the reason we as the Social Security Administration Department has contacted you before you face any legal consequences, Mr. Hub. Okay. Understood? So listen to me very carefully. Okay. Go ahead. <clears throat> Mr. Huff, your affidavit states that your social has been found suspicious for criminal activities in the state of Texas. And we are taking this issue to the FBI headquarters as we are having strong evidence that are enough to prove you're guilty inside the courthouse. See, there you go again. You, you, say, there you, you said you could prove me guilty. How, how can you prove to me, me guilty? You just, told me you, you just told me you knew it wasn't me and then now you're going to prove me guilty. Mm. Mr. Hub, uh -huh. please don't interrupt me. You will well, be given a fair chance. Okay, okay? Go Once ahead, I go have ahead. completed my part, go, understood? Go, go ahead. Go ahead. The investigation started when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas, and the car contained some blood and drug residues inside it. Hence, after an investigation, we found that the car was rented on your name and on your social pers personal social information. There was one address linked with the title of the vehicle, and the address which was in the city of Rowlett was laid by the Rowlett. two U.S. Marshals. Yes. I never heard of Rowlett, and Texas. It was laid by the team of U.S. Marshals, but okay. unfortunately, there was no one inside the residence, huh. but we recovered 22 pounds of cocaine, which is an abusive drug, and some documentation from Financial Institute such as a Chase Bank, Bank of America, yeah. U.S. Bank, and many more banks. Okay. And this entire bank's paper had your name on it and thousands of dollars has been wired from that bank account locally and internationally, which totally seems suspicious to us. That is the only reason we as a Social Security Administration of the state of Texas has filed a case against you for the trafficking See, and as well go. as money laundering. There you go again. You're filing a case against me. First you say yes, it's not me. Now you're going to file a case against me. We, in this regard, Mr. Uh, Hall, 
we uh, listen to me okay we are ahead. helping for you yeah okay in this ahead. regard we have we we have also checked your past records and we have found that your banking contains genuine records and your social have no other complaint in the past that no, is correct of course not who would complain against my social security number in this regard i'm i'm telling you in this regard we have also checked your past records and your and we have found that your banking contains genuine records and your social have no other complaint in the part that is correct i said yeah why your, would anybody complain against my social security number i, I yes. there would be no reason that is the only that is the only reason we try to reach you before you face any legal consequences, Mr. Okay. Huff. Okay. <clears throat> so, okay. so if you are agree to the help the Department of U.S. Treasury in this case, then only we can put your case and warrant on hold, as we have to find the real culprits who has we'll used your them. personal information toward these criminal activities. Yes. So what is your intention to the case file? My, if you intention, agree? my intention is to let you go find them. Go ahead. I don't know what you so need if me you for are that for. Listen to me. Listen to me, Ms. Uh, so now I'm transferring to the call to the, my senior officer with the DEA, Drug Enforcement De Administration. Okay. DEA, yeah. Drug Enforcement Administration. Who is the authorized person in regard with your case file? He will Social guide you. Security. I thought my case was against yes. Social Security. Now the DEA is yes. involved. Now I'm transferring to the call to the, my senior officer with the DEA. Yeah, that's what I'm Dead trying to figure out. I, I know what DEA means, but I thought it was my Social Security number. Yes, but my senior officer with the DEA, Drug Enforcement Administration, who is the authorized person in regard what? with your case file, and he will guide you, okay? Okay, go ahead. He will guide you and helping for you. Okay. So don't hang up the call. I'm transferring the call, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I appreciate. Go ahead. Yeah. Thank you for your patience. Your call has been transferred to DEA, Department of Drug Enforcement Administration. My name is Steve Hart with a patch ID 82462. May I know who I'm speaking with? What was your last name? I didn't catch it. Steve what? Hart. Hart. H A R T. Okay. All right, go ahead. What's your name? My name, Jack Hoff. Didn't he tell you? Jack Hoff. J A C K H U F F. Okay. Hi, Mr. Jack. How are you doing today? Okay. Okay. Can you please confirm me with your case ID number? D N C seven zero two one. Okay. So here you have been notified regarding a case file of drug trafficking and money laundering, is that correct? Yeah, it's not me. I told the other guy that. It's not me, but he says you can prove me guilty somehow. Uh -huh. But sir, your social has been involved in such crime like drug trafficking and money laundering. So you're being a primary suspect of this case file. But the other guy and said it wasn't me. And then he says it is me. Now you're saying it's me. you got to make up your minds. I don't know what's going on here. Now, sir, let me tell you, like, see, at yeah. the present moment, okay. we checked your past records. Okay. okay. You You're need right. to listen to it carefully. I'm trying. Okay? I'm trying. Go ahead. I'm a little upset here. The, the other guy said they're going to cancel my Social Security, and they were prove me guilty, and all this other stuff, and I'm nervous now. See, okay. Let me make you clear. Okay. We checked your past records. We found that the records were genuine. So we are suspecting that somebody is using your identity. That's what the other guy said, now, yes. Okay. Now, as your social has been involved in such crime, all right, the court has put you as a primary suspect of this case file. That's what the other guy said. Now How before, can I be a suspect if it yeah. isn't me? I, I'm lost. Sir, that's what you are saying, but your innocency has not been proven yet inside the court. I don't have to do that. You gotta prove me guilty. I'm sorry? Nothing, go ahead. No, what you were saying, sir? I said, I don't have to prove myself innocent in the courthouse. You don't have to prove yourself innocent in the courthouse, is what you're saying? That's what I'm saying, yeah. <coughs> you gotta prove me guilty. Okay. So do one thing. Do one thing. Yes. At this present moment, let me just send the documents at your local police department. Hey. 
Why don't you take those the documents and shove them up your scamming ass? You scamming bastard. Fuck you. you fuck you, no, you fuck scamming you, fuck. You fucking scamming bastard. No good piece of shit is what you are. Mr. Mother, Mr. Mother Mr. Steve you need to Hart. Listen. Mr. Steve Hart.